Welcome to episode 8 of the Kiribati 36 foot aluminium boat build. In this episode I will be looking at putting together a tube bender because I will be needing it for a lot of the parts on the boat, things like the push pit, the pole pit, the stanchions, handrail, uh, the aft step. I will also be looking at stage number 12 of the uh, cost calculation which is the lower keel skeleton. So it's the skeleton the lower part of the keel before the actual plates come on. So have a bit of a look at the manufacturing of those and also the cost tracking of, of that piece. Let's take a look. So unboxing of a Tubela tube bender. So I got three parcels. It starts with the first one. I think I know what this is. This is gonna be for the stand. Let's make sure there's nothing in there. So that is essentially just a very, very thick base tube. So We'll put that here and then we have this one which is looks like a some kind of a base or adjustment plate I don't know yet but we'll find out we'll put that there we have some welding instructions which I guess is to weld the the rod to the base. Uh, okay, so we can have a look at that later. And that I would say is the base plate that this big thing will sit in. Yep, so that needs to be welded. And then we'll put that down there. There we have the actual tube bender. Let's do that. It's nice. The degree plate for bend. So that's all the adjustment bolts so it's four of them so leave that and you have just bolts and I guess that's bolts to bolt it to bolt the actual stand to the tube bender itself we'll find out <coughs> some kind of a that's probably the one you, you pull with that and then we have more bolts and so kind of kind of sleeves a lot of sleeves not sure there are the actual plates that and another one of these that's probably for the degree plate and not sure what that is but we'll find out last piece is the for the part where you kind of move it up bend move it up bend so it's like a leverage mechanic system so that's about it so let's try to put this all together I'm gonna send the base off for welding first 
and uh, see what happens. Okay, I forgot this box. It's the fourth box as well. So let's see what's what's in this box. Oh, wow. Ah, that is the, uh, the actual guide. That hopefully should fit this pipe. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Amazing. Okay. And So I have dug a hole in my backyard so that I can make a lump of concrete, something to uh, fix the tube bender to, and also have a straight piece of uh, ground that I can put the lead melting device on when I come to melt the lead. So I'm just gonna drill those holes, make sure that it lines up with uh, the base of the tube bender and then fill it with, uh, with concrete. And now with the base plate fitted, roughly where it's going to sit, obviously it needs to be level. And I put these little rods with bends at the end, so hopefully they should go nowhere. So I just need to go and borrow my neighbor's concrete mixer, cement mixer, and get some sand and cement and fill this up. This is the concrete slab and the four attachment bolts sticking up that I'm going to attach it to. So hopefully that will do the trick.
that's a good uh, place to stop for today. I got the uh, base in place, it's sturdy, and I put on uh, probably 95% of all the parts. So I'll uh, finish this off tomorrow. So the sun is coming out, so I might as well put a bit of uh, silicone on this uh, seal as well, as well as putting a little bit of the uh, gel onto the bolt bolts to make sure that we don't have any corrosion or any uh, rubber seal drying out. I don't have a workshop the living room floor will have to do in terms of just checking the assembly and the measurements 
before I hand this off to be welded the lower part of the keel skeleton. Total for stage 12, the lower keel skeleton came to 1,142.19 Great British pounds, which is roughly 1,375.14 US dollars. Of that, material was 703.36 pounds and US dollar 842.56. Total external labor was 438.83 Great British Pounds, which is roughly 532.58 US dollars. Of the two, the laser cutting stood for 148.83 Great British Pounds, which is 178.28 US dollars, and the welding stood for 290 pounds, which is 354.30 US dollars. Conclusion, the total stage 12, which came to 1,142.19 pounds, 1,375.14 US dollars, material stood for 61.58% and the laser cutting and external welding stood for 38.42%. So if I welded this myself, I could have saved myself 290 pounds, which is 354.30. And if I uh, used lofting instead of laser cutting, which means I could have cut all the pieces myself, I could have saved myself an additional 148.83 pounds, which is 178.28 US dollars. That would have brought down the cost for this stage to 703.36 Great British pounds, which is 842.56 US dollars. Total stage 1 to 12 has now reached 7,808.59 Great British pounds, which is roughly 9,265.18 US dollars. So far of this, 44% is material cost and the remaining 56% is external labor and services. I personally decided to push forward with the build while picking up skills and tools along the way, just to get going. In other words, we should see a percentage of external labor and services decrease as we move forward with the build and pick up new tools and skills. Thank you for watching episode eight. If you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in uh, boat motors or electrical boat motors, I have a separate playlist for that, which is up here somewhere. And I also started a separate playlist for the actual boat wiring. If you're interested in any of those, then it might be worth uh, subscribing. Also, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, stick them in the comments and I will respond within 24 hours. See you next time. Thank you.